Okay, I just loaded my map and set the settings, but what you need to set are shader to vegetation, uh, surface type to grass. You need to set the diffuse layer, so go and pick the TIFF, not the DDS. So pick the uh, TIFF that we placed, and this isn't the folder that I need. It's in objects 3 dveg tiff all right, and then you need to set the opacity uh, down in order for it to be see-through. You could see it wasn't see-through. So anything below 100 will make it work fine. Now let's go to Terrain, Vegetation, and right-click anywhere here and go to Add Object and navigate to that 3D Veg1 folder. And it's the CGF file that you need. You can see a preview of it there. Double-click it. It will show up. You'll have some parameters for it. The first most important one you need to set are the material. So double or click on the right of material and there's an arrow there. Make sure you have 3D Veg01 folder uh, or material selected and it could have been the last thing you selected and you can just hit this arrow and it'll apply itself. And there's a few other settings but first we'll paint it so you can tell the difference. You can choose your brush radius here and this is how you start painting. There's our vegetation. And you know, for just a quick demonstration, it doesn't look half bad, but I guarantee you, you can make a lot better things. We're going to have downloadable ones on our website and techniques to make proper vegetation. And uh, some of the settings that you can pick to make it look even better are cast shadow. And it takes a second to register, but that will cast a shadow and align to terrain and random rotation and yeah there's a lot of parameters um, that we'll be talking about and if you want to apply this to everything in your map you can have it selected and click distribute vegetation on whole terrain hit yes and that does distribute it everywhere and one actually important setting is the size so when I make it two, you can see it further, three even further. And what happens sometimes if your size is too low when it's one, sometimes I'd get the vegetation on the outside having white square boxes. And all I had to do was move it up one to two, and it would get rid of that. Or even if I still had boxes, I'd go up to three. And we'll hit Control G to jump in the game. And you can see this is basically how it's done. Uh, there's a lot of things that you know I want to discuss. You know, we got some ugly looking seams, or some these shadows are actually ugly. Uh, let me see if getting rid of cast shadows helps. Yeah, so we'll figure out why that is, what settings work best. Alright guys, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to finish this video in under 10 minutes and that there had to be a part 2 with hardly anything in it. So I think that for anybody who's still listening to me babble right now should have a chance to win a free game. Um, I'm going to put a link in the uh, description of this video to a picture of a grass I made that you can download to follow this tutorial. And the first person to post on the forums, there's a thread specifically for this video, first person to post a screenshot using the image that I put in this YouTube description is gonna get a free game and it's really not a bad game it's not a far cry from a good game but it's definitely not a bad game so hope you guys enjoy the tutorial